Not everyone is blessed with a green thumb, and if you're starting to lose hope for your plant babies, don't worry. Today we're learning some life-saving techniques for sick plants. Garden and plant expert Marlene Simon joins us now with her top tips. Marlene, thank you for saving us. A lot yeah. of people have been trying <laughs> to get better, get a green thumb, especially during the pandemic, and some of them are just not having any luck. What are some of the common problems that people who are just now getting into the plant family type situation are, are experiencing too much water not enough water yeah so first of all i'm going to say everyone kills plants <laughs> i work at a university conservatory and we still kill plants so don't feel bad so but here are some tips so first of all if your plant is getting a little stretched out and maybe losing some leaves you could cut it back so that's the best thing to do if you want a little bit more fullness than this go ahead and cut it back to a growth point and it'll be bushier like this one right here oh. and also give it more light a lot of times people put their plants back in like a really deep corner a south window is considered high light inside your house but make sure you keep the blinds open and there's not a big tree out in front yeah. so a south exposed window and east window is also great a north window can work but if it's far away that's considered low light so to get your plant bushier trim it back to a growth point put it by a higher light and those led lights are incredibly inexpensive these days you could go to a pet store and buy ones for aquarium and put it right over your light and your plant and it won't burn so those are some tips on how to get your plant a little bit bushier if it's getting leggy i always say legginess is good in people but not in plants <laughs> so <laughs> do you do that with all plants though because like i have a succulent that kind of grew weird on me and i can't cut that back can i you can cut it back of course um, sometimes you, sometimes it depends on the succulent but a lot of the eschewaries and sedums that are, those are common succulents just keep growing and growing and yes you can cut it back and of course the piece you take off just root it in soil and you have a new plant oh good oh, to know wow. okay yeah. some people are dealing with rotting plants yes i have that too yes okay so most people love their plants to death i.e they <laughs> overwater them ah. more people overwater their plants and cause death than anything so only water really went for a leafy plant the top few in inches are dry for a succulent you could go about two weeks if it's inside but a tip if your succulent looks more like this poor thing uh -huh. versus something that's this is an African violet and this happens a lot add something called pumice or perlite you could take it out of the pot remove all the soil and add it's they're basically little rocks but it's called pumice you can buy small bags at a nursery and mix it into the existing soil you have or if the soil is really sort of smelly it's anaerobic get rid of that buy a succulent mix this way when you water and you're overwatering it there's still aeration around the roots and that that's what you want. You want air circulation around the roots because if you don't have that, your plants are going to die sadly. Is that the same thing? Like if you get a little bit of a white film on top of the soil, is that too much water as well? So that could be one of two things. That could be too much salt. So we're going to talk about that in a bit, or it could be benign fungus. So okay. a lot of fungus will grow on new organic potting soil and that's okay. That's not bad fungus, but if it's salt, and it's showing up on top of your soil, that's a good indication to get that soil out of there because chances are it's around your roots and that's not good for plants. Okay, okay. well, let's talk about these uh, plants uh, that have uh, pests that oh, are hanging yeah. out. Yeah, you're going to get pests. And people are like, well, how do, they, how do they bring them in? You walk by a plant outside, you touch something, you're bringing them in. The good news is there's only about a handful of pests your house plants will get. The bad thing is, is if you don't control them, you're gonna keep getting them. So one of them's a mealybug. It looks like a white cotton on your plant. Another one could be something called a thrips. And then there's scale and spider mites. And you know, at the conservatory, we have access to all these different types of, you know, pesticides, but I try to go natural and things that won't harm beneficials that we have in our greenhouse but at home really the best take some rubbing alcohol mix it about 50 percent or use it straight i'm going to say i do that too and spray it and completely cover your plant now you don't want to do this with brand new leaves that are very thin you don't want to do it with fuzzy leaves okay and do a little test spot first and then do it every five days but rubbing alcohol basically just desiccates the pests and you have to do it more than once because you need to get all life stages of the insects the adults the eggs so sometimes people spray and they're like 
Well, I still have them. It's because it didn't kill off all the stages. And they're hiding in those nooks and crannies, especially in orchids. Strip down the old leaves down below and you'll find them in there. So rubbing alcohol is a great go-to. Dilute it at first until you know your plant and then you wait five to seven days. But that's my go-to. Oh, okay. What about that's the plants that are got the browning edges on it too? Yeah, so this is probably the number one question I get is, why are my leaves turning brown? Ooh. Remember, just like people, as we age, we may not look so great. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, uh, the older leaves on a plant, lower down, are going to turn brown in discolor. And if you have a plant with fewer but bigger leaves, they hold on to them longer, so you're gonna notice it more. A lot of people have something called a corn plant at home. This is a prayer plant. The older leaves will turn brown. So that's normal. But something, a few other things that could happen is if you mentioned the, the salt on top, if you have hard water, if you have water spots on your glasses, you have hard water. Those are salts. If you over fertilize, that's a salt. Even if you have a water softener, you've added salt. All that could cause browning on the edges of your plants. So when you water, use either bottled water, reverse osmosis, even rainwater. And when you water, water so water flows out the bottom of the pot. So you're sort of flushing out all the salts. Wow. Also humidity. Most house plants are tropical plants and they want more humidity than our house offers, especially in the winter time when your heater's running, keep your plants away from a heater vent. Mm, yeah. But misting isn't gonna help. Get a room humidifier. They're really not expensive on, on Amazon. And if worse comes to worse, just take a pair of scissors or pruners and just trim around the edges of the leaves. Oh, how much and do you, you need get rid to of take the off? just take the brown off and it's going to keep browning and browning but you know say you have a party and you want your plant to look good and you don't want to remove those leaves because if it's still green it's still photosynthesizing and working for the plant okay. so just trim around with a clean pair you can disinfect with some uh, rubbing alcohol oh. <laughs> and then there's your plant but you know try to up the humidity keep it away from the heater vent good water and then some plants they're just notorious for doing that Okay, Some so the good tips. Tips. great tips. Yeah, you I mean, just covered a lot of problems right there. Exactly. <laughs> so the, good, the, the one thing I took away from that is everyone kills plants. Everyone yes. kills so don't, plants. Don't feel yes. bad. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Marlene. We really All appreciate right. it. Thank you. Marlene, your info is on the screen right there. So she's on Instagram. So check her out if you have it. Can people shoot you some questions? Oh, of course. That's that's what I do all day long, talking plants. Oh, okay. I love it. Great. Fantastic. Thanks, Marlene.